Hi everyone, welcome to the start of a new series. In this series, we're predominantly talking about this thing called a logarithm. We're also going to be talking about polynomials a little bit later, but let's just get straight into what a logarithm is. Now, for the time being, we're just going to introduce the logarithm as a different way to write something we are kind of used to by now. So I've drawn on the left here a, an exponential. So this is something we've touched on numerous times in the past and we're going to look at a different way to write this and this is going to be what we introduce as the logarithm. Now we'll go into this a lot more, obviously there's a lot more to this, but just in this initial video we're going to get used to writing logarithms and show how they communicate different things to us and also use these to solve sort of different types of equations. Now, you may remember that when we had an exponential, here we have two to the power of four equals 16, we had a few elements to it. So we had the base here, we had the power here, and we just had some answer here that we got. Okay, so what a logarithm does is it is a different type of way of expressing this particular equation here. This particular relationship between the left hand side and the right hand side. With logarithms, we say that log to the base of 2 of 16 equals to 4. Now, there are a few rules and different log laws that we're going to talk about later in this series and probably also in the future quite a bit. But the main thing I want to introduce in this video is the different ways to write these and how we can take one, use its information to create a different type of expression from a different perspective. We're going to look at this perspective more in the future. But we'll see what we got here. We still have our answer up here. So the log to the base two of our answer, 16, equals to four, my power. So my power goes here and my base goes down here. So we're gonna just practice writing different, how to convert between these two here. But we can notice a couple of similarities. So our base here is our bottom number down here. It's this little subscript. So base usually means down low. So something the base, something below. So this two just goes on the bottom. So the base kind of looks very similar. The answer here becomes the thing we're finding the log of and the power gets expressed over here. So it's basically telling us two to what power gives us 16. So if we go through a couple of examples, the first one, we are going to try to write this log, log to the base 10 of 1000 equals to 4. We want to write this, oh sorry, not 4, 3. We want to write this as an exponential because we're going to be converting between logs and exponentials. So we're going to identify all of our different features. So we have our base down the bottom because remember our base is something pretty low on the bottom. So it's this lowest little subscript number. We've got our power on this side and that gives us this particular answer here. So let's start with our base. I have a base of 10 to the power of 3 equals to 1000. So we go from my log form here And um, just on a side note, we say a short hand for logarithm is we say log. And we have our exponential form. 
Now, we can often check our answer because if we substitute, well, if we change from log form to exponential form, it's usually pretty obvious when it's wrong because we can kind of see here that we already know that if I raise just from our work with indices, and you can check this in your calculator, when I raise 10 to the power of three, I'm going to get 1000. Say we did this wrong, so say we got these mixed up and we say, for example, um, okay, 10 to the power of 1,000 equals to 3. We can clearly see that this is incorrect. So it's going to be, we'll, we, when we convert from logs to exponentials, we're going to have a pretty good idea of when it's wrong because it's, the answer is just going to look pretty absurd based on what we know about logs and exponentials and converting between the two of those. Okay, so we have my log form change into exponential form. Let's try an example in which we go from exponential form to log form. So we have 2 to the power of 5 equals to 32. Okay, so first of all, I want to identify my base number. That's going to be the number that goes down on the bottom. So that's going to be my 2. So I have here that the log of base 2 and next we put our answer. So log to the base 2 of 32 equals to the last thing that's left is my power equals to 5. So these kind of go hand in hand and we'll show it a little bit later graphically how this works as well. But you can see that we pretty clearly match all of our things in the same way. We have our base here, we have our answer, and we have our power. And here we've converted from exponential form to log form. Okay, the final two examples is we're going to be applying what we've just learned about converting between these to solve some different and new types of equations. We're now going to look at solving some simple logarithmic equations. So this first one, I've got log the base 4 of 64 equals to x. Now, there is no real conceivable way to figure out what this is off the top of our heads. We need to convert it to something that we're a little bit more familiar with. We've done a lot of equations with exponential form. So let's try to get this from a log into an exponential. So we're going to identify our base here. We have a base of 4. We have a power of x. And we have my answer being 64. So I'm going to work through this a little bit quicker because hopefully we've got the hang of it now. So we have 4 to the power of x equals to 64. Now this becomes a um, something that we can solve now. We've solved these types of exponential equations in the past. So I have 4 to the power of x equals to I want to write 64 here with a base of 4. So I have 4 here and I just want to find how many times does 4, how many 4's multiply to give me 64. And when we try a couple of these we are going to get 3. Because 4 times 4 gives me 16, 16 times 4 gives me 64. So now my two bases are the same, 4 and 4. So we can therefore say that the powers are the same. Because 4 to the power of something equals 4 to the power of 3. That something then, x must be 3. So we can say that log to the base 4 of 64 equals to 3 here. Okay, let's try one more. We have that log to the base 2 of x oops, equals to 6. 
So once again, we're going to identify all our main components. We have a log to the base two. So this is going to be our base number in exponential form of x, my answer. So the answer is going to be on its own equals to the power of it will equals to a power of six. So we're going to rewrite this as two, the base to the power six equals to my unknown x. And we can pretty clearly see that as with all the other examples, my base, my power and my answer get moved around like so. So I can say that x equals two to the power of six. Um, and we remember just a revision of indices, two to the power of six just means two times two times two times two times two times another two, that equals to x. And we can obviously put this in our calculator and that will give us 64 equals to x. But that brings us to the end of this video. We're just looking here at converting between log form and exponential form. So just to write it here, so you can see I have my exponential form in which I have a base to the power of something gives me some answer. And then I have a log form in which the log of that same base of the answer equals to my power. And we can move from one to the other pretty seamlessly once we understand how to rearrange these. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.